our desire is to bring nothing but the Word, the Word of God that transforms our lives. You can't have a testimony if you haven't had a test. When you have the new nature of God inside of you, really your worship reflects that. If you fail, don't let it be final, because it's not fatal. Hello friends around the world, thanks for joining me here. This is your doc, Dr. Kazumba Charles, in the studio today. You are watching Kingdom Insight. Wherever and whatever TV station you are watching us, we bring you the Word of God. Our desire is to bring nothing but the Word, the Word of God that transforms our lives, that gives us a new beginning, and that sets us on the path to the greatness and the goodness of God. But today in the studio, I have a very special guest with me. Uh, my mentor, my teacher, my professor, I've had the privilege of sitting under his teaching for the last 10 years, Dr. David Pierce. Not only does he teach about healing uh, uh, and many other topics, but healing is what sticks out to me. He has experienced the healing power and the healing touch of God. Dr. Pierce, Welcome to the Thank studio. You, Dr. Welcome Charles. on the program. Great to have you here. Or it's, have uh, you it's, have me here. <laughs> to have you here. Well, Great. you've always have been your student <laughs> yes. for many years. Right. It has been just an honor, a privilege. I've learned mm. so much. And uh, like I was saying before we went live here on the program, uh, one of the principles that sticks out to me up to today is uh, two principles you taught me. And uh, we were working outside, and you taught me these two principles. And uh, I will share these principles because today we're talking about healing, the healing power mm -hmm. of God. Yes. Uh, one of the principles you taught me was um, it is not done until yes. it is yes. done yes. right. And I believe, <laughs> it, you know, God wants to right. do what is right. And the other principle you taught me was uh, the more I look, the more I see. So the more you look even at yourself, the more you see things that needs to be fixed, Correct. the more you see things that God can mm -hmm. do in your life. And those are the two principles that I've learned the last 10 years. But we're going to go to the Word of God here. You teach a lot about uh, healing. You've done the manuals for healing. And uh, by the way, uh, I will do my best to make this available to you. Uh, 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 you can write to us live at kazumbachars.com and if you are interested in the Bible College, uh, Dr. Pierce is, uh, is uh, um, the uh, Dean of the Students at Faith Alive Bible College here in Canada in Saskatoon. So if you are interested about that, you will see the website as well right down there. But Doc, uh, help us to understand that Jesus is still healing people. Jesus he, is he interested is. in healing those who are listening to That's us. Correct. Teach us on healing. It's his will for us to be healed. Yes. There's four of these manuals. I've got one here also. Twelve uh, lessons in each one. There's mm -hmm. questions at the end. But healing is one of the important uh, principles that we have and truths that we have as a Christian. Mm -hmm. And, of course, healing is, for, is available for everyone. But really, as a Christian, there's... Uh, responsibilities on our part because we are covenant people and I was going to talk about today just to zero in on a topic is about it's God's character his very character is to heal mm -hmm. and we have a quote to start off in the Old Testament with uh, Israel coming out of Egypt and we find there's an incident that happened and then there's a statement that mm -hmm. is made he said behold I'm Yahweh mm -hmm. I'm Jehovah, I'm the one that heals. I am the Lord, we often make the statement, I am the Lord that healeth thee or you. But you know, we say that, but we never pay much attention to the rest of the setting. So today, while I was waiting for the session here today, I, I looked at it and thought, you know what, I've never really paid attention to that setting of that verse, and we'll cover that, and then we'll go on to few others Let's cover because that. God Amen. it is God's plan mm -hmm. for us to be healed Amen. it's his will for us mm -hmm. to be healed mm -hmm. and it's fully provided in redemption mm -hmm. through Christ dying on the cross Amen. but here we go Israel have just come out of Egypt uh, Miriam uh, Moses's sister is leading in this jubilant song 
as they come get across the Red Sea and that army of e Egypt is destroyed. And it says God led, Moses led them and God led them out into the wilderness and they're out there for three days. Mm. So they're really excited to leave Egypt, but now they're in the wilderness and there's no water. Mm -hmm. And you know water is important yes. for all of us. Mm -hmm. We all need water. Mm -hmm. And there's no water, nothing to drink, and what do the people do? They start to com complain. Complain. Yes. Is that mm. what we do when we have a problem of sickness or mm. disease? We complain to God and blame God for mm. why we got sick. Mm. And I read this, and we look here, it's in Exodus chapter 15. And it says, when they came to Mara, and what Mara means bitter. Mm. So they came to this place, and there was some water they found out in the desert. And they go to drink it, and it's bitter. So that's why it's called Mara. And the people murmured, it says, against Moses, saying, what shall we drink? And he cried unto the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree that which he had cast into the waters, and the waters were made sweet. There he made of, for them a statue and an ordinance, and there he proved them. Mm -hmm. So now I was reading from the King James. I decided to bring a King James Bible, Amen. but it's not what I use mm -hmm. all, the time. all the time. I love to read other translations yes. mm -hmm. because it expands. Because mm -hmm. Right there, it says he threw a tree. All the other translations, mm -hmm. Dr. Charles say, he threw a stick. Mm -hmm. So we're out in the wilderness, they find a stick, and they throw it mm -hmm. in this water. Now it's quite significant, mm -hmm. because when we think about, there's a stick later on that mm -hmm. Jesus died on, mm -hmm. a cross. And we think, well, does it, is there any connection? Mm -hmm. Well, there, there could be. Yes. There's a possibility. There's a possibility. Because yes. when we come to Numbers, mm -hmm. chapter 21, mm -hmm. we find they're at another process of being tested. Mm -hmm. And they're, they said they had to go by the way of Edom, mm -hmm. and it was rough. So they're in the desert, it's easy to walk. Mm -hmm. But they go to a rough area, it's mountainous area. And in that area, it was hard. It says the way was hard. Mm -hmm. So they complain and murmur to God. And what did God do at that time? Mm. He sent serpents among them, snakes that were poisonous mm -hmm. and biting them. And what, did, what was the instruction that God gave uh, mm. Moses? What did he tell Moses to do? Is it the post to, to look to the post? Yes. To the, to the, the post. To the, yes, right. to the post. I caught you off guard. Yes. Didn't oh, I ask I'm you a question. student. I know. <laughs> <laughs> didn't mean to. <laughs> it's good. So, anyways, uh, it's very significant here. Amen. Amen. Because they put this brazen serpent where? Mm -hmm. On a pole, yes. or we might just say a stick. A stick just, yeah. I'm just trying to draw mm -hmm. a that picture. There can, be com there can be more significance than mm -hmm. what we notice. Mm -hmm. And it says, put it on a pole. They look up on that pole, and it mm -hmm. says, anyone that looked to that brazen serpent mm -hmm. on that pole was healed. Healed, yes. Mm. The reason that that is very important, because we get over into the New Testament in mm -hmm. John's Gospel, chapter 3, mm -hmm. we're used to quoting verse 16, but mm -hmm. the verse before it, it makes the statement, as, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. also shall the Son of Man be lifted up. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Amen. So what happened when yeah. they looked at that serpent? There was mm -hmm. healing. The healing. What happens to us mm -hmm. when we're hurting? Mm -hmm. There's healing. Yes. So that story in Numbers 21 mm -hmm. is talking about an account where mm -hmm. they were tested. Amen. Amen. And they complained. Mm -hmm. And then there was a way of deliverance. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of tests in life. Yes. So yes. let's go back to Exodus where mm -hmm. we're reading here. Mm -hmm. He showed them a tree in King James. The other translations all say that they, was, um, they, that they threw a stick. Mm -hmm. I've got my phone. I love to read the Bible on my mm -hmm. phone now. And then you can even push a button and you can listen to it. Amen. And Amen. here we've got it. This is NLT translation. Just see where we are here. So because what it happens here when we read the King James, it says, it shows the, to show them, uh, to set ordinances and statues. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we read something like that, it doesn't mean much to us. Yes. But one translation, it says rules and procedures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The reason they had to look for water, and then the water was bitter, mm -hmm. because God wanted to test them. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to set some rules and regulations. They just got out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. 
They don't have the Ten Commandments yet. They don't have all these other instructions. Mm -hmm. But he is saying he wants them to obey them. Amen. It was there at Myra that the Lord set before them the following decree mm -hmm. as a standard to test their faithfulness to, to him. To test their faithfulness to him. Wow. So we, we haven't even got to the verse that mm -hmm. we want to read. Mm -hmm. We all read it. Mm -hmm. We say the Lord, he's the God that heals us. So let's mm -hmm. just look what it says here. Mm -hmm. In verse 26, and he said, If you will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in thy, his sight, mm -hmm. and will give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, what? Mm -hmm. His rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. So these tests come sometimes to mm -hmm. test us. Amen. And what he's saying there is that he, he said, If you will agree with the covenant, mm -hmm. if you will follow what I say, mm -hmm then I am what? The Lord that heals you, and I will not put the sicknesses that were upon Egypt. Amen. So we know that God is our healer, mm -hmm. and, but we have to meet some conditions. Amen. And usually mm -hmm. that's where a lot of the problem mm -hmm. is. Yes. Like you talked, preached last night about mm -hmm. at the church, mm -hmm. about forgiveness. Mm -hmm. You've written a book about mm -hmm. the power of forgiveness. Mm -hmm. and, you know, we, we need to ask God sometimes the first thing we need to say, Lord, if I missed it, mm -hmm. I ask mm -hmm. you to forgive me. Mm -hmm. So many people mm -hmm. want you to pray for them for mm -hmm. healing, yes. but they don't mm -hmm. necessarily prepare to do mm -hmm. some correction on yes. their part of their relationship with God. And you know, in his mercy, mm -hmm. you just had a program about mercy. Mm -hmm. In his mercy, he mm -hmm. often just heals people. Amen. Even Amen. though they don't have everything right. Yes. And yes. that's the wonderful things about our God. Amen. So Amen. his character is to heal. I realize mm -hmm. I got to move on. Mm -hmm. In Isaiah 53, it's talking about that he was wounded for our transgressions. transgressions. He was bruised for our mm -hmm. iniquities. Mm -hmm. And by his, his stripes, we it, are healed. By his stripes, mm -hmm. we are healed. Mm -hmm. Well, that's by Isaiah. That's about 600 years before mm -hmm. Christ. But when Jesus starts his ministry in Matthew chapter 8, we read, Verse 16, mm -hmm. it says, Jesus started to heal these people and cast out demons mm -hmm. out of them. He healed them mm -hmm. that it might be fulfilled what was mm -hmm. spoken by Isaiah, mm -hmm. the prophet, mm -hmm. that by stripes were healed. Well, healed. Yes. So what is Jesus doing? He's healing people mm -hmm. before the cross Amen. because he knows he's mm -hmm. going to the cross yes. and there'll be full redemption and Amen. healing. You know, Amen. we have so much we can claim Mm -hmm. from God, what he's provided for us. Mm -hmm. Then we get on to the writings of Peter, mm -hmm. First Peter chapter 2, verse 24. And it, again, it says, by his stripes were healed. Mm -hmm. So Peter's making the same declaration. Mm -hmm. So before the cross, mm -hmm. we have this account, 600 years. We have Jesus doing his ministry. Mm -hmm. And he said, the reason I'm healing these people, mm -hmm. because... Amen. I know I'm going Amen. to the cross. Mm -hmm. I know I'm going to come out victorious. Mm -hmm. I'm going to raise mm -hmm. the dead oh, and bring God. life. And the other thing I thought about for healing, because mm -hmm. I want to give a couple testimonies mm -hmm. before we're finished. Mm -hmm. The other thing about healing is that uh, we should focus on Jesus. Amen. You know, so many times mm -hmm. we focus on healing. So many people are praying to be healed. Mm -hmm. They want to be healed. Mm -hmm. And that's all they're thinking about. But I say there's far more than that, mm -hmm. that our heart is right Amen. with God. Amen. Mm -hmm. And the reason I think of that, because sometimes we see people that aren't healed mm -hmm. and they even die. We prayed for them. They're good people. Mm -hmm. Maybe they got cancer or something and they died. Mm -hmm. And we think, oh, mm -hmm. that's such despair. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, how is their heart with mm -hmm. God? Scripture, I think of, is in first. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 12, mm -hmm. it, it talks about us fight the good, good fight, fight of faith. Of faith. Mm -hmm. Lay hold, it mm -hmm. says, mm -hmm. of that eternal life yeah. and what the confession is telling Timothy mm -hmm. that you made before people, that you stay true to that. Amen. So to me, the greatest thing that I can do, mm -hmm. even though I believe for healing, mm -hmm is the greater thing is to stay focused on Jesus, Amen. to keep my heart Amen. right with him. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. we think, we pray for people to be healed, some are not healed, mm -hmm. and then we think that's devastating. Yeah. And I think, well, yeah. in a sense it is, because mm -hmm. we want them healed, but there's something far more, mm -hmm. that we've got eternity. Mm -hmm. And that's part of your 
theme of your topic yeah. is kingdom yeah. insight. We yes. need to understand mm. a, be, a bigger picture mm. of the kingdom. Amen. And I wanted to share a bit, a couple testimonies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talk about, um, so we're talking about the character of God. Mm -hmm. His character is to yield. And we read there beginning in, ex in Exodus mm -hmm. that I am the Lord that healeth thee. Yes. He is the Lord that heals. So there could be people watching today. Mm -hmm. They're not really sure if it's God's will to heal. Mm -hmm. I want you to sell, tell you, mm -hmm. absolutely Amen. it's God's will. Because if sometimes mm -hmm. people are prayed for, mm -hmm. for healing. I've heard it many times. There's mm -hmm. sincere people. Mm -hmm. And they say, well, we got prayed for at church or prayed somewhere. Mm -hmm. And it hasn't changed. So God must have another plan. Yeah. There's only plan one, A. Plan A, yes. And yes. if you don't, aren't settled mm -hmm. on plan A, yeah. you'll always think the voices are going to tell you it's mm -hmm. not working. Yeah. And so it's, it's just a God's couple will to heal you. incidents. Mm -hmm. I think of the thought of corporate prayer mm -hmm. at church well, on Thursday nights. We pray for the mm -hmm. church. We pray for the nation, mm -hmm. pray for the leaders in the church. We also pray for requests. Mm -hmm. And I want to refer just to two of them mm -hmm. is... Uh, one is for a lady by her name was Jill. I'll mm -hmm. give her first name. Mm -hmm. And Jill, she was related to someone from the church. Mm -hmm. And they requested a prayer for her. Now, this is a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And it's at close to Christmas time. Mm -hmm. Her lungs collapsed. Mm -hmm. And they said she had a 5%. Mm -hmm. Her lungs were working at 5%. Wow. So she's barely existing. Mm -hmm. And they, they, they said there's no hope for her. Wow. Unless they get... Uh, a lung mm -hmm. donated. Mm -hmm. Being this lady was of such small stature, mm -hmm. he said it would be very, very hard to find, find a, a lung. I was just mm -hmm. inquiring about it last night. Mm -hmm. because of the, so mm -hmm. we were, were praying for this at the church. She'll get a match. There was a young lady mm -hmm. that died in Manitoba. Mm -hmm. This operation took place in Edmonton. Mm -hmm. In Manitoba, this young lady, and she was a twin, mm -hmm. and the twin said, I want to do something memorial for my mm. sister yeah. that died mm -hmm. a, a, in a tragic way. I'll donate her lungs. Mm -hmm. So it was a perfect match. Mm -hmm. Blood was great match. Mm -hmm. And they, were, were, they thought she was going to die. Mm -hmm. Someone donated a lung mm -hmm. and we were praying. And today she's fine. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, Praise God. But it was at death's mm. door. But yeah. part of that was I felt impressed in my heart mm -hmm. that I would pray every night. Amen. For three months, I got yeah. up in the night, prayed 20 minutes to mm -hmm. half an hour mm -hmm. for that situation. And the other one was for a little baby mm -hmm. born at the same time, as this other incident, mm -hmm. in, in the December of a year and a half ago. And this little baby was premature and they didn't think it would live. Mm -hmm. And there came a point, I just inquired again, it came a point when it got so full of fluid, mm -hmm. this premature baby, it said, we're going to pull the plug, we don't think. Mm -hmm. And we prayed again Amen. at that time. Mm -hmm. And the baby lived. Today I asked, how's the little, mm -hmm. it's 18 months now, mm -hmm. crawling around, wow. doing wow. fine. Praise God. And I'm saying that mm -hmm. because the church prayed, mm -hmm. but sometimes we have to do more. Amen. And you know, you, you need to, I'm encouraging people, look to a church, yes. look to people that believe in healing and get them to help pray with you and agree. Amen. So sometimes Amen. it takes more than yes. just one prayer. prayer. Yes, that's true. And mm -hmm. I believe, I ha I, it's not a practice mm -hmm. that I do this. Mm -hmm. But for those two incidents, I just felt in my heart, mm -hmm. I was going to get up every night. Amen. And I did it for three to four months, mm -hmm. every night, 20 minutes to half an hour, got up in the middle of the night, mm -hmm. and I would go back to bed, and it was just like I'd never even got up. Mm -hmm. I just had a great sleep and Amen. great rest and great strength. Mm -hmm. But you know, we need to intercede and pray Yes. to fulfill, mm -hmm. to bring to pass Amen. what God's Word mm -hmm. says. Mm -hmm. And it says there in James chapter 5 or 16, it says the, I believe it says, the effectual fervent a prayer, prayer of, of a righteous, righteous man mm -hmm. availeth much. much. And, and Char Dr. Charles, mm -hmm. I've always thought, mm -hmm. the voices will tell you mm -hmm. the prayer isn't working. Yeah. The voices will tell you, you went and someone prayed over you, or you're praying yourself and mm -hmm. believing God for healing, and the voices will keep chattering Chatter. away, it's, yes. not working. it's not working. And the best way to mm -hmm. silence them is by using the Word of the God. Word of God. God's yeah. Word says, Amen. the effectual fervent Amen. prayer of a, of a righteous person Hallelujah. avails mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. 
and mm -hmm. I should stop for a moment there. Wow. And maybe well, you got some I, I'm, comments. I'm, no, no, I'm, I'm enjoying this because, uh, you know, Dr. Pierce, uh, there are so many people watching this program who think it's not the mm -hmm. will of God yes, to, right. to heal them. Who think, you know, they've been prayed for once and you said mm -hmm. sometimes it takes much. It does. It's not only one prayer. I know there are people right now believing for God's healing who've gone to a church that were mm -hmm. prayed for once and it, they, it didn't work, they think, and they gave up on God. That's right. Now, you've emphasized here, sometimes it takes a fight to mm. fight That's for your correct. healing yes. you, it, because it is God's will to heal our bodies. With God, there is no plan B. Only plan A, mm -hmm. Dr. Pierce mentioned that. The plan of God yes. for your life is to heal you, is to restore you, and uh, to make you all once again. Right. Uh, uh, Doc, I just want, I know we're running out of time here. Uh, I want you to give us the take home message on healing, uh, the, the importance of healing, the importance of believing the Word of God as you alluded to, and the importance of standing on the Word That's of God correct. as we wait for our healing to manifest itself as the Word of God has declared. What is the message that you can give to the people to well, take I would home? say the big thing is you get one or two scriptures and you focus on that, mm -hmm. you meditate on it, and then you declare it and speak it because there's authority. We're mm -hmm. changing the atmosphere. We're changing the situation by speaking over it. This week, I've had to visit a, a lady in the emergency at the hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, they didn't think she was going to make it through the operation. Mm -hmm. It was that serious. Mm -hmm. And today I went this morning, and she's recovering. She's beginning to open her eyes, and mm -hmm. she got through the operation okay. So t sometimes we just have to speak the word, realize there's an authority there mm -hmm. for God to bring healing. It's, it's God's will Amen. for us to be healed. And I'd say get one or two scriptures, mm -hmm. meditate on it, because meditating on the word of God, it gets into our spirit. Amen. And we have to fight off mm -hmm. Sometimes it's pain. Sometimes mm -hmm. the person could be wa watching today. They're in mm -hmm. so much pain, yes. and, and you don't know where to where to turn to, mm -hmm. what to think of. And I would say the best thing is take a scripture, mm -hmm. just the one we just said, mm -hmm. "By his stripes we're healed," mm -hmm. or the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous person mm -hmm. availeth much. God is merciful. He Amen. wants us to be healed. Amen. It's for us to believe it mm -hmm. and apply it and see it mm -hmm. happen in our life and be manifest. Hallelujah. I just want you to look in the camera. I know that people are ready to receive prayer, uh, either for healing or restoration or whatever is going on in their lives. Just go ahead, Dr. Pearson, and okay. pray for the people. There, there's so many you think of that are, have um, broken hearts, unfulfilled dreams. They're, they're hurting on the inside. And then there's those that have physical they tell us more and more people are going to be affected by cancer. So we speak to you. You know, cancer is only a name. It can be defeated. It's been defeated in my life. I'm a, I'm a te living testimony of a man that was dying of cancer eight years ago. And today I'm alive, healthy, better than I was before. So I decree to you to reach out and believe in the name of Jesus that there is healing. Yes. Jesus name in the name of yes. Jesus yes. I speak health and healing healing to minds troubled minds troubled spirits troubled bodies Lord I speak over the body that has that problem of, of vibrations in their body they can't control it like Parkinson's symptoms I speak over that today that there's healing correction in this that the peace of God comes upon you and restores and gives you life today Amen. Amen, amen and amen. amen. I know you've been, uh, you know, blessed by the Word of God. Uh, I, I, I want to run uh, through scriptures that you can meditate on uh, to hold on to your healing or to tell your mind, mm -hmm. your God, yes. our God, Yahweh, yes. the God of Israel, He's our healer. Psalms 103 verse 1 to 5 declares this. He sent out His Word right. and He healed them yes. and He delivered them from their destruction. 
It is God's mm. will to deliver you, to heal you, and to deliver you from any destruction that the enemy is trying to bring into your life. And Isaiah 58 verse 8 uh, declares this. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be served, for you are my praise. Sometimes all you need to do is to just sing that song, you know, from Isaiah 58 verse 8. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be served, for, your, for, for you are my praise praise. Sometimes the enemy wants to lie to us to say you are not going to be healed. It is God's will to be healed. It is God's will to deliver you. It is God's will to give you a new beginning and a new life. I'm so thankful Dr. Pierce as you've been sharing mm -hmm. about healing. I know God has healed you personally yes. and uh, when you share you share from the experience. You know there there is a difference between just sharing from their knowledge and sharing from their experience. Right. Yes. And you bring that experience, the Lord healed you. That's why I want you people of yeah. God to, you know, if you need any prayer, uh, write to us, life at kazumbachows.com. Go to our website, www.kazumbachows.com. And uh, we want to hear from you and to hear what the Lord has done. We want to hear your testimony. Please write to us. And uh, we got some materials that we want to give you as you can see on the screen there uh, uh, write to us we'll send you those materials so that you can continue to meditate on the Word of God and to stand uh, on the Word of God thank you for joining us here at Kingdom Insight until then God bless you Amen. and bless you indeed Amen. you have been watching Kingdom Insight with Dr. Kazumba Charles my prayer and hope for you today is that you have grasped everything that you can from the speakers that have poured into your life today. I want to promote Dr. Kazumba Charles' new book. It's called Discovering the Power of God in You. He is an amazing man with an amazing spiritual insight into the power of God. I pray that you pick up this book and that it impacts your life. Thank you for watching.